Add to cart. I just bought something again. Customers have become used to this and the future of marketing is now. And if you don't adapt, you will fall behind. So let's talk about what exactly the future of marketing is. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day. In the last video, we talked about starting a business during a pandemic. If you missed that, it's linked to the I in description. Today, we'll talk about the future of marketing because you don't get customers unless you market your business. Over the last year and a half, the marketing world has changed, but a lot of these changes are here to stay. Today, I'm gonna tell you about 10 marketing trends that are here to stay. It's critical that you, your business understands them in order to grow. Number one, digital marketing is here to stay. A lot of people have at least tried advertising online, especially with what's happening now. More people are searching online more than ever before. And there's a huge shift from traditional advertising to digital advertising. And it gives your business an advantage since it's not great to post ads traditionally. There's a huge shift from traditional to online digital advertising. And today, more than ever, people are moving away from traditional advertising. Your customers are no longer consuming information and content or even your business or when they're seeking out your business in traditional ad formats, such as print media, trade shows, billboards, and radio and television. They'd rather be in control, finding things on their smartphones when they are traveling and seeking out information real time. They'd rather seek it out on desktops or laptops because they're spending more time than ever in front of their devices. You as a business owner should be aware of where your customers are actively spending more time engaging with content for your products and services so that you can spend more of your digital advertising dollars so that you can target when they are seeking out your products and services. It's also a less expensive way to target ads digitally. Not only can you track better, you can refine your ad so that if it's not working today, you can change it up to make it work tomorrow. You can stop and start your ad and you can analyze the behavior of when customers are clicking on the ad to when they follow through to actually convert in terms of purchasing your products and services. Therefore, digital marketing today is where you should be spending majority of your advertising dollars. Number two, video marketing is booming. Video drives more traffic. People prefer to watch rather than read, and therefore the retention of people actually engaging with that source of content is much longer. Video marketing has a lot of benefits. It can be monetized. It attracts more people, and it's entertaining. It shows your personality more than any other method. Video marketing is more engaging and compelling and therefore your audience members will stay longer watching videos. Number three, search engine optimization or SEO. SEO is more important than ever. Your customers trust Google and if you're not there on that first page organically, they're gonna resort to clicking on your major competitors. You wanna be on that map you want to be below that map on that first page. But not only that, you want to be a thought leader, an expert, someone that is authoritative so that they trust Google to have vetted the businesses on that first page. And you need to earn that right to be on that first page. Number four, social media marketing. It's a great way for you to communicate and connect with your customers through inquiries, complaints, and comments. Not only that, with suggestions as well. A lot of businesses have social media pages already, such as Twitter, Google My Business, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. And if your competitors have it, you should have it as well. Not only that, your customers wanna know what's going on in your business, and therefore you have to be active on your social media pages. 
You will be closer to your customers, which should be one of your top goals. And most importantly, building stronger relationships with your audience. By being active on all your social media pages, it forms a stronger relationships with your customers. You're forming a stronger trust, loyalty, and brand by being active on all your social media pages. Number five, branding. They want to see what your company represents, which are your core values, what it stands for, what is the major difference, and what is the competitive edge that you represent in your brand. This will build customer trust, and that's more important now more than ever before. Customers don't just want to shop anywhere. They want to know if what they're spending is worth their money. Your branding is not just a logo and a website design. Think about your story. Why are you in business? And why should your customers actually care about purchasing your products or services from you? What do you stand for? What are your values like so that they can trust and understand what they're purchasing from your brand? Number six, online shift. A lot of businesses today are jumping on this going online wagon. If you're a bricks and mortar store that offers products or services, having a website that offers people to purchase their products online so that you can either pick it up in the store or have it fulfilled by shipping it to their homes or business, you have the ability to allow for your customers another way and avenue to purchase your products, not just in the physical store. If you're offering a service where people have to be at your store, you can now offer some online consults where people can book, reserve and have consultations digitally so you can still service them while they're at home or at work. Number seven, automation is taking over. Customers are relying on artificial intelligence such as voice search, chat bots, and shopping assistants. It makes things efficient and it's cost effective in the long run. You want to be way more productive. And if there's ways to automate your process or allow for humans not to do these tasks, it will allow you to be way more productive and save money at the end of the day. Number eight, the customer experience is more important than ever before. Customers want to connect to you on an emotional level. They don't want to just shop with just any company. They want to make sure that you have reliable products. You have value for your price. And they want to also ensure that your products may be environmentally friendly. You may have social causes. Trust is earned and built over time. You need to value your customers. And therefore, you got to make sure they feel special. And if you want loyal customers to be lifetime value customers of yours, you need to listen to them, you need to constantly add value, and you need to constantly serve them well so that they become a constant source of referral business for the rest of your business life. Number nine, competition. Some businesses have closed down, but you have to compete with those that have adapted to the new normal. That means, your competitors are always trying to seek out your customer base. You need to really rely on trends, gaps, opportunities, and therefore do competitive analysis and figure out where you can cultivate new customers, segments, niches, industries, marketplaces, so that you can extract new customers across your competitors and earn more of your market share. Number 10, virtual events. If you're bricks and mortar store that relied on in-person meetings or held conferences. Now, if you're pivoting to this virtual event landscape, it allows for you to not only streamline your costs, expand your network, not just relying on local people to attend, travel, and visit your in-person conference, you have the ability to expand to different market segments globally and target people that were unable to attend in person. It allows you to reduce your cost savings, allows you to generate more profit, and the ability to amplify your brand. So in the bigger picture, it allows you to expand your market share to generate more profit for your business. With all the changes happening, one cannot simply adapt all of them at once. 
prioritize what you need at the moment, what will benefit you now and in the future. The goal of marketing is the same despite all these changes. Tell me in the comments below if I've missed anything and let's talk about it more. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, like this video, and let's grow together.